There's about an 11 second differential on the shot clock of the Here's game. Chapman, clock. they're going to look for a pick and pop. They'll look for Novak. Chapman back to Diener. Shot clock at eight. He spins on Jenkins. Jackson doesn't shoot it. Long one by Chapman. Not there for him. Miles with the rebound. And he's been a man on the glass all night. Seven seconds to shoot. Garcia across midcourt. Francisco Garcia. A long one coming. He got it. He hit the three-pointer with 2.6 seconds to go. Garcia sticks the knife in. And there was almost a block there. We'll take a look at this shot. Of course, Garcia's limping. They've done such a wonderful job on him all night. This kid is really an excellent player. And he has, obviously, the NBA range. Here's Marquette. They try to drive. They give it to Jackson. He can't shoot that. He does a good job to screen and hand off. They get a good look there. Nice rebound by Louisville. Now they got to get back in transition. The timeout was an astute call by the Louisville players and Patino. See the body block right there? We'll, we'll come back and take a look at this shot. But credit Palacios right there by putting a the hit on him. The young freshman had the presence of mind to set that transition pick. Here he is. There's Palacios, and he wipes out two. He has that tight end build, and he puts it to good use. Francisco Garcia playing tonight with a deep thigh bruise. He's hardly practiced the last several days. And even after he hit the three-pointer and a timeout was called, as he went to visit with Patino and celebrate, he did so limping. But 18 points, most of those in the second half. And how about this run by Louisville, a 14-0 run. And you have to keep going back to the foul by Amoroso as the key moment when maybe Marquette torpedoed their own upset bid tonight. You're right about that. Right, you have to do right now if you're Louisville is, you want to make them, you want to keep them in front of you, and it's interesting where they're aligning Diener. Obviously, he's a guy that they want going to, and Patino sees the set, does the NBA thing, and calls a timeout. And speaking of the NBA, the thing that would make the college game better is if in this situation, you could take a timeout and get a half court one of the things we, we do collegiately is we don't take the best of the NBA. Rick, only 2.6 seconds left. You've got very good three-point shooters on the court for the Marquette Golden Eagles. Obviously, Diener is going to be closely guarded. Novak as well. I would make I would play on top of Diener. I would make Diener back cut at all costs. And certainly you've got to have an awareness of Diener and obviously Nowak. You want to prioritize your two three-point shooters. You don't care if they dribble all the way in for a layup. It'll be interesting to see who Marquette plays right here or if they make a substitution. Patino saw the set, and Coach Queen may very well vary it. A very interesting decision, too, by the Louisville Cardinals not to call a timeout. They had one remaining, decided not to call it here and let Garcia come all the way up. That was a great call because if they, they would have had to give across half court to get the timeout and would have only had about four seconds left to operate. Palacios, as much as he made freshman mistakes, and Amoroso certainly made the most potent freshman mistake tonight, he had the presence of mind to wipe out and screen Garcia's man there for that long three. Marquette's three-point shooting tonight has been outstanding. They're in a little diamond set here. There's going to be cross-action and movement, and they're going to give both Novak and Diener a look for a three. Marquette's inbound. Oh, Diener with a great nice catch. Play. Fires it up on the run. The three and it's not going to go. And that's the ball game. Louisville steals one at nice the Bradley play. Center tonight. And Diener had a chance to tie it at the buzzer. And he missed it. Watch this right here. You want to let him catch that ball and defend him. Great play. Diener has a presence of mind to take that behind the three-point line. They had wonderful spacing. Terrific execution. What a finish. Francisco Garcia, the hero, with a three-pointer in the final seconds to win it for Louisville, 64-61. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. For Rick Majerus, I'm Dave O'Brien. A thriller tonight. Louisville beats Marquette. And now we go to the studio and Carl Ravage. Carl?